We at RM Education designed the English Language Arts Toolbar based on recommendations from teaching experts as to which teaching tools they would consider innovative and easy to use, giving the teachers the ability to create exciting and engaging lessons. The English language arts tools are the ones that teachers are already familiar with in the classroom, but they're more dynamic being used with the RM Easy Teach software. Language arts teachers typically have a wealth of print at their disposal, whether it be print from the internet, from a student or a teacher created text, or even from a textbook that's available on disk. It's very easy to be able to import text into Easy Teach, whether I copy and paste or actually physically open it up right within Easy Teach. So I'm going to file and open and I'm going to browse for where I have some text saved on my computer and I'm going to pull my number poem in and slide it into my um, my lesson. Now one of the things I do want to pull into here is a picture to go along with it, make it a little bit more dynamic for my students. And on my English language arts toolbar, I'm also going to show you how I can repel my text around that picture. Since I have a wobbly walrus, I'm going to find a picture of a walrus and pull that on in. And now using the repel feature, I can choose both my picture and right click on my text as well and then click on the repel. Now anywhere I move my walrus, my text is going to wrap right around him. Now that I've got it wrapped the way I like it to be, I'm going to show you how the punctuation tool would work. The punctuation tool will add and remove punctuation from anything that any text that you put onto your page. So first I would want to remove it. This is so much easier than actually trying to take text and type it without having punctuation in it. I can remove all of my capitals and remove my punctuation so that I have none left. Now print this out. Send it home with your students. And tomorrow they're going to come and drag in where the punctuation belongs. Notice that the punctuation will also match whatever the font is as well as the color of the text. I also like to use my pen now to use my editing marks and show where my capitals should go. Undoing some of those changes, I can go back and undo any of my changes up to the last time that I actually saved my document. And if I think I'm going to need this text on more than one page, I can go out to my storyboard, choose my page, and copy and paste another page in. So now I actually have two of those to be able to do multiple features from my English language arts toolbar on. The next thing that I want to show you is how I can take my text and create a closed passage with it. I like to pair this up with the highlighter tool. The highlighter tool that's on the English Language Arts toolbar is wonderful for little fingers especially because that students only have to tap on a word in order for it to be highlighted. There's no worries about being able to drag over a word appropriately. I also like the fact that they are in the popular sentence card structure colors. If you buy a package of sentence strips, you will see that the colors will be orange, green, yellow, pink, and blue. So if I'm now going to take my word wall, put it on a blue card, and then put it up on my word wall, they are going to correlate with what the students have seen in my presentation. So if I use, say, green for my verbs, I can now use green, highlight all my verbs, and then when they match up on the wall, the students will have a better visual correlation. The closed line passage now, it makes it easy for me to know which words exactly am I taking out now that I've highlighted them. I can print out any activity, whether it's one page or all the pages, of my Easy Teach presentation. So now that I've taken these out, I can send this home with my students and actually have the students fill in the blanks and then tomorrow when they come back, I'll have them drag the words into the correct places. So one wobbly, wobbly walrus walking on a wall and the blanks will fill right in for them. Another tool within Easy Teach is the Big Edit. Using the Big Edit, I can highlight some of my text
go to my big edit tool and now my students can learn to put in more vivid colorful words more describing words so my students now instead of saying it was night when he drove into town they're going to describe the night a little bit better it was a dark and dreary night when he drove into town maybe we want to try another one it was a dark and dreary night when he crept into town or perhaps they want to try something else maybe they want it to say when he drove slowly into town now I can choose the one that I like best and accept it and it's going to change my text right up so wonder way, wonderful way to teach better writing skills you also have the on-screen keyboard so if you want the students to come right up to the interactive whiteboard they could use the on-screen keyboard to type in that text as well or of course they could always come up to the teachers key keyboard at their computer the last tool that I want to share with you are the word and sentence builder cards using the word and sentence builder cards teachers can choose from already prepared letters clusters digraphs inflected endings just choose a letter and pull out the ending you'll also notice that you have a choice of sizes small medium and large as well as front middle and ending cards these work cards can also be typed right within them so it broadens their horizons beyond even just simple language arts if I wanted to do math facts with my students I can type in 2 times 2 and then create some back ending cards to see if my students will be able to match up the correct back ending to them and we've matched our answers giving it more of a twist than just drawing a line between the front and the half back half of a problem or our words as it may be in this situation because I can type in these I could also use them for things like social studies and doing states and capitals and cause and effect anything that you would normally draw a line between you can actually create into these word and sentence builder cards and they can be sent home they can be printed out and then cut apart and done as an actual physical manual activity as well so taking a look at the cards that we have here one of the important things to note is that you can change the color and the fill within any of these cards so if I want my words to change I can touch on my words or if I want my background to change I can touch on my background then the students are able to grab the back half and match it up with the words they snap together and then the whole thing can move together in unison for an answer like family we're going to remove the Y and we're going to add the IES and again they will move in tandem to summarize what you've seen of RM Easy Teach English, English Language Arts Toolbar you saw the ability to be able to pull in text from any type of source whether it's copy paste or opening up from a rich text format and then the ability to repel text around a picture within that passage as well as our word and sentence builder cards our punctuation tool of adding and removing punctuation the close underline tool in conjunction with the word wallet and the easy touch on highlighter we also took a look at the big editing tool other things that are available here are the timer a writing frame a read-along text and a quick easy typeface toolbar to be able to change your fonts quickly and easily when you're in language arts but do recall that just because it says English language arts doesn't mean that I cannot be using scientific or mathematical text in one of my passages here so these tools that while it says English language arts really are cross-curricular not just meant for the language arts arena